What's up guys, I hope you're doing great. Guess what happened last night? So I was with my friends and we were actually watching an episode of Money Heist. After a long time we were together, so having popcorns, juice, having all that chit chat that we've been missing for a very long time. So while we were watching this movie, at this particular scene my friend asked if this smoke was created for real or was it done using visual effects. And I explained to him, yes it can be done using conventional, traditional methods of smoke machines and so on or it can also be done using visual effects. So his next question was, can you make this? Can you make this? What? So this is a very, very frustrating mindset when the people think that you're an animator and you can pretty much do every visual effect that's out there, which is not the reality. But since I was challenged and I was given a very, very short time to do this, it's my personal integrity. Keeping that in mind, let's see if I can pull this one off. I was thinking if he's out of his mind, has he gone nuts? What is he really thinking? How can I really make this in such a short time? Having all such questions, I saved my position or to prove myself I accepted the challenge and went to my studio and started working on it. As he just gave me a really short time to complete this. So first of all I watched that scene again and again and again. And I listed down the points which will help me to create this effect. Then I thought I should also watch some of the real footage of smoke and fire. And they'll help me to understand the dynamics of how this really works, how it just explodes and move up in the air, factors like buoyancy and so on. These were good enough to get me started, so let's begin with the actual work. So I am using Cinema 4D, which is my go-to 3D software for visual effects. And to create this realistic and professional looking fire effect in short time, I have Turbulence FD at my disposal. Now this is widely used by filmmakers and creators to create amazing fire and explosions and smoke and similar effects. And Jarset have been kind enough to send me the software so I can create some of these fun tutorials for people like you and also share my experience creating projects. That would have been incomplete without Turbulence FD. So a big thanks to Jarset. They do have a free learning edition up for grab so link's going to be in the description. Go and hit it and try and download and play around with it. Well, you have to keep in mind, thinking about these things takes longer. It's the figuring out part that can take longer than the doing part. So I'm using a simple primitive and adjusting it to make it look like a ring. Since I'm a fan of Lord of the Rings, so I thought it was a good idea to pick that as an element. So nothing fancy, just making it editable and adding a sub -diff deformer to make it look soft and give that ring shape to it. Then I've got my text written down, extruded. Go through the ring. Using a boolean I was able to cut it out. So the common question seemed to be smoke, fluid, fire, some of these effects they are always the effects which are most intriguing and interesting towards the viewer. If you take one of these effects out of a scene, it will go incomplete. Now, despite having a short time to create this effect, I start to search for answers to these questions as well. Because these were stuck in my head and I somehow found some answers to it. I realized that visual effects artists, they love smoke and these simulated effects because it really adds a lot of life to your scenes. It makes it more realistic, more appealing, and a lot more interesting. Even the most unattractive objects will transform into some sort of magical stuff in the end when you add these effects to them. And if you know, it's a great visual and emotional stimulation that works into your mind when you look at these effects and look at this as a cohesive, sensational, creative piece of art, all together working in different pieces. Then I set up the scene by adding a simple plane, a few lights, and uh, I'm using Redshift. You can use a normal standard or physical render that comes within Cinema 4D, but I'm right now using Redshift. So I've got a few of those Redshift lights. A plane. That's given me a decent look, especially when I'm using the area light and, uh, and the dome to get the natural lighting. Then I've set up my emitter and this emitter will be emitting all the fuel, smoke and fire from my turbulence safety object. We've got a simple turbulence safety container going on. Adjust the size of it. 
our ability to recall spoken information is only 25%, whereas the visual information is about 80%. VFX for videos are powerful storytelling tools. As a result, they are heavily used in film, television, theater, and video games. Hence, they help us tell a better and more engaging story. Now, if I specifically talk about smoke, smoke adds a unique factor to the scene, which helps the viewer to gain a trust in the whole complexity and the realism of the scene. The smoke creates the sense of illusion that is more engaging, it's more close to reality. So it concludes that movies without all these effects will be dull and boring and people will lose their interest. Then set up an emitter in the disc and then set up our shader. So since I'm just going to be using density and temperature right here, so set up some of the, some of the attributes that should help us get that look. Mainly it's uh, gravity, the direction of gravity and then buoyancy that will help us see how the smoke is actually going to go upwards, how quickly will it float out and move upwards and get out of that area of origin. And then it's time to set up the shader for my redshift. If you're not using redshift, you're not going to be worrying about it because you already have that shader applied by default. So you should be able to see a decent fire and smoke effect. However, since I'm using redshift, so I need to apply a volume shader to my object and add the density and temperature to that shader, link it up and give it some color. Time to create the cache and I think I am getting closer. Here is our final result. So there it was, a quick visual effects tutorial, sort of experience video. I hope you guys like the idea and if you like so, if you want to see more of these videos, do let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers, ciao.